Hi, uh, my name is Robert Taylor. I'm a Navajo a silver and goldsmith out of uh, Indian Wells. Um, this is what I do for my work, uh, silver and gold, storyteller, flute players, bears, and uh, any kind of design. That's what I've been doing for more than 20 years. How many years? More than 20 years. 20 years. And tell me a little bit about the technique that you use. The technique is, um, is the way of life, uh, how I did all these uh, designs. Uh, the way I was raised as a who was herding sheep, my mom's a weaver, my dad, my late dad was a silversmith and that's how I got them from and that's all the story, these called storyteller. All in the bracelets? Yeah. So do you use a little coping saw to cut out those Yes, threads? yes, uh, the, 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 the size of the blades, like the size of the thread. So when I cut them out, I just sketch them out freehand and start sketching them out, cutting them out. Uh -huh. You ever broken a blade? A lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> Those are tiny little blades. Yeah. So you cut out the, the little figures? Yeah. All of them first and then you overlay them? On yeah, solder them. Each, each, each piece that are cut out separate and then solder them. All these on there. All these. So you only work in silver and 14 karat gold? Yeah, either silver and gold or all gold. Uh -huh. It comes in like uh, 14, 18, 22 up to pure gold. Uh huh. So you don't use a gold wash or anything, it's solid, it's a plate, a sheet of gold. Yeah, I mix my own gold and I mix it with alloy, buy pure gold and cut them down to 14 carat. I mix with alloy and then I roll out my own gold. So you have a rolling mill? And yes. You roll out your own gold? Yes. Huh? And then, and you said then you sketch the designs freehand? Yeah. Um, and, and cut them out with a coping saw? Yes. And then um, solder them onto your your bracelet. Yes. How long would it take you to make a bracelet like that? This one probably being at it without taking a break, you know, just one lunch break, probably a, a whole day. You uh -huh. know, you gotta, it could be uh, faster than that, but you have to, uh, every, when you solder them, then you have to put in a cleaner, like acid, and then it has to stay in there for maybe until it's clean, you know. And it looks like you do a really fine finish work. So there's a lot of buffing on that, a lot of cleaning. Yeah, uh, it's a lot of cleaning. It takes a while to clean all those buffing roots up. All in between these uh, little uh, figures in between the legs, you get all. You have to all clean out all the buffing roots and then make sure it's clean. And then you start polishing again. After you polish, the roots goes in there again, and then you have to clean it again. At the last uh, final polishing. The background, the edging with the little engraving tool that works like a jackhammer. I do that last. That's the last part I do. I finish it off. Do you enjoy this? Do you enjoy uh, doing silver, silver and goldsmithing? Well, uh, I yeah, I enjoy it. But um, more than 20 years, you know, of doing the same old thing, it kind of gets to you. You want to do something on the side, you know. You get tired of it right now, and then you have to do something else, and then. Like ride bulls? Uh, work, play with my tractor somewhere here and there, and then I'll come back, and then you, you get back into it again. But when I started this design, it was like boom, boom. I really enjoyed it. Then now, I don't know, I might be getting old or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a lot of things that, that I'm uh, going on at home and with my kids and all that. So. Every time when I start jewelry, I'll be down there and I want to be in it, part of it, you know, uh -huh. like rodeo or whatever, you know, my son does uh, uh, participate in rodeo and then uh, after that he plays in a four-piece country western band and I have to pull trigger here and there, you know. Didn't you play in the band for a while? Yeah, for a while, you know. I mean, nowadays, I don't want to do it, you know, I just pick up the guitar strum a few notes and then I, I, I just lost interest in it. Uh -huh. So you enjoy silversmithing but you enjoy being with your kids more? Yes, with yes, family. yes. How many children do you have? Uh, well the oldest ones, I got three. Um, the oldest is uh, 22 and this is my daughter Cheryl. And then my son Sean is uh, 14 and then Chantel is uh, 12. And uh, 
I'm a grandpa right now. Yeah, I was going to ask you, you're a grandpa, aren't you? Yeah, I've got a little granddaughter. She, she's down in uh, Mesa, Arizona with her mom, my son-in-law, and her name's Lillian. He's, she's only like a little over a year old. Yeah. They're really, you know, I enjoy visit her down there. Sometimes I have to come bring her back and babysit. <laughs> so what's your favorite jewelry design? Oh, uh, probably the storyteller, I would say. Uh -huh. That's what I got known for is the storyteller, you know. 